All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil, and we have our April 2024 account update. We're gonna get going here. We're gonna look at the account, what changed, what didn't change, what are we doing, right? You guys know that this is a series I do every single month, so if you're ever interested in kind of going back and seeing other things that I've did in the past, this is a whole playlist where you can kind of see the history of my account going all the way back into like May of 2022. So we've got a lot of videos here. Hopefully you guys enjoy this series and it gives you kind of some light into how much I'm growing and what is like a reasonable amount to move in an account in an account for a month. So like and subscribe, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let's give a huge shout out to all of our channel members for their continued support. If you guys are ever interested in joining, that link is down below along with a link to the Discord server. So make sure you guys go check that out. To my on the council members, thank you for um, you know, your putting your faith in me to bring you good content. And of course, to those in the Wampa and Jedi Master tier, thank you guys again for your generosity, your continued faith in me. It is so much appreciated. Hopefully, I'm helping you become a better Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes player. So let's get into the intro and let's talk about the account. All right, guys. So let's first go ahead here and we're going to take a look at the galactic power this month. So we are currently at 10,853,000. Uh, I checked last month and I was at 10,831,000. So we did nothing. In fact, like just to show you in terms of nothing, no new relics, no new gear. Um, we really just kind of, you know, stuck to our farming plan. And that's because of capital games, right? It's all because of capital games, it's all capital games fault. No. So if you missed it, Meathead was live streaming it on Twitch. And he said that Jar Jar is more than likely going to be a three month ish release cadence going back to the normal ridiculous journey guide kind of, you know, uh, release cadence. So with that news, if you remember last time I was kind of like, and do I go all in on Jar Jar? Do I go all in on Bo? Um, I can't really say that going all in on Jar Jar for me makes sense when I know that Bo-Katan is going to be back every single month. So I'm going to go all in on Bo-Katan. We're going to get her and then we'll try and figure out the Jar Jar cadence because I was thinking, hey, if I could get Jar Jar in, like I was thinking more likely it'd be like four to five months. But with it being like there's, you know, this three month buffer, I just I don't think I'm going to have the time to do that. So if it was coming back every month, you know, we'd be going a lot harder. But because it's further out, I think we're just going to wait and get Bo here, especially with the uh, Mandalore bonus zone, my guild working towards that. So all in on Bo-Katan. So shard update. We went from 31 shards of Paz Vizsla to 78 here out of 100. So we, you know, gained what? 47 shards over the month. Uh, we're not doing any refreshes there. So that's pretty, it's pretty good, right? That's about a shard and a half a day. That's not bad at all. So really, really good progress here for Paz Vizsla. Again, not refreshing him because of Grogu and Keller and Beck being much lower than Paz Vizsla since he was the first one. So we went from 34 and 21 of 85 on these characters to 21 and 31 out of 100. So to, you know, just put some light into that in terms of numbers, we went from, we gained 72 shards of Grogu and we gained uh, 90 shards of Keller and Beck. So we did a lot. I was doing refreshes of Keller and Beck before Grogu and then as I kind of realized that Jar Jar wasn't going to be a monthly cadence, I went all in on Grogu. So we're going to try and get Bo-Katan here probably in the next month and a half. Um, I think I'll have the shard sooner, but I don't know when her event will go active. So that's kind of why I say a month and a half. I, I just don't know when the event is going to go active for me to be able to get her. So the next thing we started doing this month is the stap. So we went from just like 50 shards all the way up to 69 <laughs> of 100. So 299 shards closing in on getting this thing to seven star. Again, I don't know when we're going to actually relic the staff, but I just want to get it done before I really need signal data for Jar Jar and Bo. I wanted to get the staff out of the way. I thought, and I think it's going to be a good use of my time because I will be able to judge if it's extremely important in the raid, I've got it seven star and I can put some gear into it. If something that I don't really need, then I can, you know, table it for now. Uh, boss Nass finally did go farmable. So I went from 70 shards to 83 and that's just been the past couple of days. We're not doing any refreshes of boss Nass. That is something I, I will not do. Um, there's a couple of reasons for this. Number one, boss Nass is on a 20 energy node. So in the five attempts I'm doing on boss Nass, it's hundred energy to put that in perspective. I'm spending 120 on 10 attempts for Keller and Beck. So I'm going to do my best to not 
rush boss nas i don't want to do refreshes of his node if i can help it because it's an absolute killer for your Kyrotech farm so gonna just farm boss nas as much as i can until these later gungans go farmable the one thing i want you to notice here is that my gungan phalanx it has a lot more progress than boomadir and tarples that is because with gungan phalanx i uh use the gamble packs to get some additional shards there and kind of you know get some of those bonus rewards that were you know available the reason i did that is because he was the last gungan released and so i wanted to give myself a head start there um hoping that that would give me i mean you think that's a 50 shard buffer so i'm hoping that that will help me out a little bit um in terms of like why i didn't do it with the other gungans comes down to bonus crystals like this was 2600 bonus crystals that i had to spend so just to shed some light onto that 2600 bonus crystals for boss nas for you know the other like for the other three gungans that would actually put me in the negatives so i wouldn't have had enough bonus crystals to do that for every single gungan and i like to have my crystals around because i don't know when i'm going to need them i don't know you know i like to kind of have a you know stash that's just the way i am so that's kind of the thought process here. And if you remember last month, I was talking about some other additional relics. That's all tabled for now, right? I think that for now, that is tabled. I've just got to be focused on the current things at hand with Gungans and Bo-Katan because this stuff is kind of happening all at once. Uh, we are on track to get Queen Amidala in three conquests. Uh, not really intending on taking her to relics right away. Going to kind of wait and see what the data is. How good is she? What's her team looking like? Because I don't want to go Relic 7 her, put all this Zeta's Kyrotech on her, and then realize that I don't have a proper team. So what I want to do now is I want to flip over to my Google Sheet. And the reason I want to do that is because um, what I want to do is um, kind of make sure that we are, you know, doing this properly. I don't even know if I said it the right way. Uh, I want to make sure that, you know, I'm showing you guys kind of the process on the actual like resources that I have been accumulating during this time. So if you guys hold off for one second here while I pull this up, of course, it doesn't want to load. Let's go here. There we go. All right. Come here and let's pull this up. All right. So I'm just going to keep my fat face over here and we'll scroll as necessary. So I showed you guys this spreadsheet of, hey, here's all the characters that I want to farm. I added a priority here, basically saying, hey, this is where I envision them. So what you'll notice is I've got the Mandalorians I intend to use with Bo-Katan Mandalore. And the armorer is in this list. Armorer has a priority rating of three. She's below the Gungans. I don't want to invest my Kyrotech into armorer until I know that I've got the resources to get Jar Jar. Because even though she doesn't take Zetas, she takes 500 Kyrotech. Like, she takes more Kyrotech than, you know, Boss Nass and Tarple. So, like, I don't want to use that Kyrotech until I know I have enough for Jar Jar. Because while Armor is very good and she will make the Bo-Katan team better, uh, I do have Bo-Katan Kreeze that I can slot into that team. So, uh, this sheet also just assumes I'm going to take everybody to Relic 7. I don't know that that's actually going to happen, but that's my just... It was the easiest thing for me to do was, hey, let's just pretend everybody's going to Relic 7. Um, so at the bottom of the list here, you guys will be able to see that I've got, you know, Stap, B2, Droidica, right? The characters for Queen Amidala that we're going to need. Um, in terms of the Lightspeed bundles, I don't know if I'm going to purchase any or not. I'm giving it some thought. Obviously, the one with B2 and Droidica does look really, really nice to me. But it doesn't give me a lot of benefit to other areas. Whereas some of these other ones, there is some increased benefit that i'd be able to take advantage of so i'm not sure what to do yet you know i'm going to be perfectly honest with you i don't know what i'm going to do yet there um i've got a lot to think about so just in terms of the resources here my current inventory of kyrotech right i've got 1272 mark sevens i've got 1139 mark nine so that's your you know shock prods and laptops there obviously still a lot to go <laughs> still a lot to go but we're making progress and the nice thing here that I can kind of start judging is that, you know, as I get closer to Jar Jar, right, if I start seeing that I've got a lot of extra Kyrotech kind of hanging out here, I can maybe start to work on some of those older characters and relic them up and not be in a really awful position. The only thing I'll have to keep an eye on 
is the signal data to make sure that we're still kind of making some progress there because the staff definitely has delayed signal data. And then over here, just to show you, this was my March inventory. I went back, watched my video, and this was the inventory I had in there for March. So we gained almost 800 shock prod Kyrotex this month and about 400 Mark 9 Kyrotex. So we made a ton of progress on Kyrotex. A lot of farming, a lot of rewards kind of coming throughout the month. So that was a really, really solid. And like, if you guys don't believe me, go back, watch the video. Like I show you what my inventory was. Like this, this is really good stuff here. Um, then from Zetas, we went from 37 to 135. So I'm sitting at a cool... 135 Zeta is a 98 change month over month. I didn't have signal data last time, but what I will do is um, I'm just going to add a column here and we're going to call this like April totals. And what I'll do is we'll kind of take these numbers here and I'll track them. And this is just for a little bit, right? This is obviously not going to be like a long-term thing. This is just with right now, I had all of these things that I kind of wanted to square my head in and see where my resources need to go. So um, we're going to kind of keep track of this for a little bit just to see how we're doing, just to see the, you know, the thought process behind where my resources need to go. So guys, a lot of stuff happening, right? And I said that there's a lot going on. You know, there's a lot we need to be considering. The one thing I want to mention here and just kind of, you know, circle it all back to everything in the game with these, you know, as we're kind of transitioning, you know, getting into this stuff, like I showed you that spreadsheet, you may think, gosh, Phil, that's so much to do, but it was important for me because I've got a lot going on in the account and I've never been in this position. Like just to give you just, just to show you guys something, right? I have never been in a position where I am actively, like I, Jedi Knight Cal, I think was the first one where I achieved something in the journey guide before it was permanently added. Like I did not get Grand Inquisitor until he was permanently added to the journey guide. Like all of these things I did not get until they were permanently, I mean, some of these older ones maybe, but like I did not get a lot of these things until they were permanently added to the journey guide. So I'm in this very unique situation for my account that I really needed to be focused on what I'm doing because Normally it's always been, oh, well, it's always there. Like I, you know, if I do this, it's only going to delay me like two weeks. But you think like with Jar Jar, if I don't, if I misuse my resources and he's not coming back for another three months, like I could be up a Creek without a paddle. So, you know, that's why I made that. And that's kind of the plan moving forward is just bow Jar Jar and any little things I can do between now and then to make progress going to help us out. So that's the end of the video. Again, I love you all. May the force be with you. And I will see you in the next video. Actually, false ending, false ending, false ending, false ending, false ending. Um, shoot, I completely forgot to mention this. I wanted to show you guys my mod score. So let's get over to the Discord here. And there we go. All right, so here's the Discord. Come on, show up. Come on, Discord, you can do it. You can do it. Of course, Discord doesn't want to open up come on now there it is all right so here was my mod score right now so i've got a 7.32 this was the other big thing that happened this month right so we went up a lot in mod score just to you know give you some perspective here um let's go here this was uh my mod score at the end of the this was my mod score last month so we have you know I'm just kind of let's see if i can shift this over ah, it's not going to show you so uh 7.05 right and there's the numbers of the mods right so we made some really good progress in the mod score here where we went up we got additional 25 speed mods more 20 speed 15 10 but even like my offense percent we did gain a few good mods there so overall very very pleased with the account progress so this is the official ending and i want to make sure that i gave a, a proper shout out to the wampa and jedi master Tier members because i don't know if i got to cover this so thank you guys again i love you all may the force be with you wampa is king in the comments i'll see you in the next one cheers my friends